I knew I had to do something. If you protect and enrich the environment, in just a short time, you can make a lot of impact. So that's when I got into honeybees. Once you get into bees, your life changes. Those critters provide the food that we eat. And to see the honeybee as the sentinel of something bigger that's going on right now, um, it, it brings trepidation and it brings pause for concern. Okay, it's all right. These girls are very quiet. And they're, they're usually a little bit more temperamental. So this might indicate that the queen is in this box as well. The smoke helps to disrupt the alarm pheromone. And it also gets them back down into the boxes so fewer bees get hurt. Once you start understanding about the colony life of honeybees, it brings out a new understanding uh, in the circle of life. Truly, a colony of honeybees is an organism that's made up of tens of thousands of individuals, but they as a colony are an organism, and they communicate and they make decisions as an organism. So on this frame, you can see on the outside edges, they have the honey. As this was a complete frame of honey going into winter, this high up in the colony, but they've eaten out a section of it and the queen has already laid brood that has emerged. This is all drone, all drone comb down here. And this box is heavy, it's all full of honey. So that's probably 45 pounds of honey in there. They are on the front line of what humans are doing to the earth because they are at the very basic level of the ecology between plants and animals and making that plant source fruitful so that animals can live. Over the last eight years, we've consistently seen 30 to 40 percent of the managed honeybees dying in the winter. If we had one or two bad years where the deaths were higher, we could have a pollination disaster. And it can happen, I mean, check out the gray hair, it can happen in my lifetime, in my lifetime. 